I'm just out again for the hairs as, as per usual for me, for all of you that know me. Um, I've just, just seen one set out on the hedge side, um, which is down here, look. It says, sort of right down the bottom, just there. Um, so it's a fair distance off, but I'm, uh, I'm going to try and get on it. I think it's a hair by the look of, through the binoculars of how it looks and the position it's in. A hair that I photographed a couple of weeks back. Um, and I managed to get on it then. So I'm going to try and get it again today. Um, I have to get some nice photographs and I'll sit with it as long as I can. If I get on it, I need to try first. Um, so, yeah, keep with me and uh, I'll bring you back.
everybody. Um, I've just got home from that little trip out. Well, I say a little trip out. I was I must have been with that hair three or four hours altogether. Um, turns out it's one of the best experiences with a brown hair I've ever had in my life. Um, I've had some cracking experiences in the past um, with mountain hairs too, but wow, that one just just performed so well for me. It just put up with me. It was so comfortable with me. Kept dozing off and doing a few stretching and yawns and so on and then as hopefully as you'll see from this vlog once I've put it together um, just how close it came to me um, and it even went out of the shot at one point and it came that, that close to me that it was almost within touching distance it just like checking me out um, didn't spook it there we just trotted off a few feet after that and just carried on eating and I just decided to leave it to it then, crawled away, left it in total peace, which is what you should do with any animal really, to try not to disturb them if you can help it. I know it's not always easy, but... And yeah, there I am, just back home, and a cup of coffee, um, and I'll uh, get this vlog up and running hopefully soon. Hope you enjoy it folks, and thanks again for watching. Cheers.